What's good, y'all? Your boy and Adrian here, and we're doing something a little different. I bumped into this channel called, uh, hold up, Cold Name Super, and I watched one of their videos, and it had me cracking up. First off, he was spitting facts about stuff, uh, things that happened in Dragon Ball, and he talks about other anime shows. I just haven't watched them, so I don't know what he'd be talking about, but I still watch them because they're very entertaining. Uh, Cold Name Super. Definitely check him out if you like anime. He is hilarious. But he was talking about a Dragon Ball video, which I was playing another time. But it had me crack it up, and it was true. I was like, you know what? I'm going to react to his videos and give my thoughts on it as well. His videos are not even that long. But um, hold up. Yeah, like you see right there, 5 minutes, 44 seconds. So it's not even that long. So that's the cool. Another cool part is I can react to these videos and don't take up too much of your time. But let me know in the comments what you think as well when you watch this. Like I said, I'm going to stop it every now and then to give my take. And yeah, this is one of them. I'm not going to front. It's not the most. Well, hold on. It's not the worst beating I've seen from uh, that happened to, to, to Vegeta. It's up there in the top three, though. Vegeta is my favorite DBZ character. I know Goku's the best, but to me, he has been number one for a long time. All right, my top three is um, uh, Vegeta, uh, Goku Black, and a lot of people look past him, and I don't understand why, but Super Android 17 from GT. I'm sorry. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Wait, wait. Goku Super Saiyan 4 from GT, and then Super Android 17. Android 17 gets looked past, and it's because of that plot armor in that series, which we're not going to get into. That's a whole conversation for another day. They did my boy Android 17, Super 17, dirty, bro. Like, that, the I go for it. That was a villain that should have won. But, you know, plot armor. Anyway, Vegeta is my top uh, character of all time, and one thing about being a number one Vegeta fan, you get a lot of him getting mistreated. I'm going to say it. People say it's not mis... Some, some say he doesn't get mistreated. Some say they do. I say he gets disrespected. It's it's like Vegeta doesn't never learns. He lets people power up and, you know, he lets Zarbon power up, let Frieza power up. And it's like you would think he would learn, but no, he then lets Cell power up when he could have won the whole Cell saga of everybody. His final flash has never worked. It was like such a cool moment and it never works in Z or Super. So it should have been Vegeta that got payback for on Goku Black. Even though I'm glad they did let Trunks tech well, not uh, technically it wasn't, it was um Zeno. So, you know <sighs> Vegeta gets a lot. But this has to be one of the top three. Actually, no, it's the number one most embarrassing moment for Vegeta. I will say that. This worst beating? No. That's for another video, which we'll talk about another time. Anyway, let's check this out. Again, shout out to Codename Super. Let's look at it. And that man, Akira, couldn't let Vegeta smile any longer. That man was really having the best day of his life until he ran into 18. And this day, he showed off Super Saiyan and caught a dub in front of the whole You know, squad. that's what's funny. Really My friends and I used to say that, too. We used to be like, Akira is starting to have, like, a panic. He's starting to panic. Like, he sees Vegeta winning too much. That's what happened in uh, the, the Frieza saga. Where Vegeta was winning a lot, or well, he beat two people, and then he meets Zarbon to get his butt kicked. Here, he just turned Super Saiyan, and not only a few episodes later, he gets his butt kicked. It was like every time Vegeta wins, it's like the writer get nervous. It's like, oh no, we can't, we can't let Vegeta get too much shine. But then I heard um, allegedly that the this was later, not not recently, but I heard earlier that the writer did wasn't a fan of Vegeta. Which makes sense. When you think of what's going on, it's like, bro, I, I wonder does he like him now? If that's true of that rumor that he didn't like, never liked Vegeta. I wonder does he like him now? Because he even gets disrespected in the Broly movie, the recent one. He should have kept fighting Broly. When is Vegeta just going to let Goku take over? That just, anyway, moving on. Pete. But Akira couldn't let that rock, so he created one of the most yep. vile beatings in Dragon Ball. And Bile, of course, that yes, has to exactly. happen to Vegeta. So let's get into the fight. So first, they stand off against each other, and then 18 pulls up on him, and they just start boxing. I was like, oh shit, they wallin'. By Vegeta the way, I love the androids. That was a great addition. They were scared. When I was a kid, Android 17 and 18, they scared me, bro. Especially when you watch the Future Trunk story. They were like, they made them to horror characters as a kid. You look at it, and then. To have the mystery of 16 and not know what he was capable of. The funniest part is, let's say Vegeta did beat 18 and Piccolo beat 17. They would have had no chance against 16 and that would have been 
16 wasn't playing around for that little Patrick moment he had. Throws her against the wall. And I'm crying. Look at how she landed. Shorty is not Spider-Man. And look at 16 <laughs> concerned about birds, bro. Those birds don't know you. Vegeta follows up on his last attack. 18 is just eating that shit. Like, look at that. She is not phased. She was scared, And this part bro. is kind of wild. She's one of my favorite truck characters. truck driver pulls up wrong place, wrong time. Bro was just trying to do his job. And understandably, he tells those random ass people to move the fuck out the way. He was trying to get through. And those are the last <laughs> words that man will ever say. Because this man, Vegeta, attacks 18 and she jumps out the way. And nah, the people who made Kai be trolling. Because listen to this. Bro <gasps> talking about some dude my truck. Like, bro, you are not alive. Stop. I do not I remember that at Kai on... Well, to be real, I never, I don't think I ever, I watched some of Kai, Dragon Ball Z Kai, I just, not a lot, so I don't think I would have remembered that anyway. Tried. He said, dude, my car, he's dead, what are you talking about? Bro talking about some dude, my truck, like, bro, you are not alive, no. stop it. I don't even know I know they was probably doing that for because like, it's on Kids like, oh, okay, Network, but fine. come on. No, that's his ghost. Kids know oh, he, he ain't alive, ain't no way, ain't dude, no way my truck. That. And look at how bro turns when he just off the civilian. You are not in the edit. You're just in trouble. And this part is funny as hell. 18 uses her metal noggin to hit Vegeta. Damn. I think that startled oh, all of us when we saw that. Cells from that. Vegeta gets mad and then he charges at her. He hits he her, but she eats it and also knees him. Hmm. And I never seen some shit like this. I saw him fall and I was like, oh nah, evil has won. And yeah. then she uses her finger, finger to up. lean his like, ass oh, back up man. and hits him into the wall. Oh, nah, that shit was so vile. After hitting this man, Vegeta, in the wall, the rest of the squad pulls up, and then this man, Vegeta, just walks out and starts smiling like he didn't just get violated. And I ain't like, going to front. I was refusing. As much as it looked like Vegeta had this loss, I was refusing that he was. I was like, ain't no way. He just turned Super Saiyan, and he loses already. And in the most, in the most embarrassing fashion. You got Android 18. Hold up. You got Android 18. Like, come on, bro. It's like, is Vegeta going down like this? Like it, they, I was refused as much as it looked like my brother was like, oh, he's done. I was like, no, there he has to come up with something. But you know, they didn't, they didn't bro, work that way. Is keeping score. We all know you was getting worked. Eighteen started talking crazy. She like, if you want to run Wait, go what ahead, that? you ain't worth. Just walks out and starts smiling like he didn't just get violated. Like, bro, your face is keeping score. We all know you was getting yeah, worked. The dude always started be. talking crazy. She like, if you want to run, go ahead. You ain't worth shit if you do, though. And he just like, no way you talking like I'm not about to put your ass six feet under. And she like, stop all that talking. Let's get to boxing. Gets the first hit. Vegeta jumps out the wall, headbutts her. And then he hits her ass to the ground. And to finish it off, he uses a key blast to hit her. And look at Vegeta posing like he just cooked up. All bro did was mess with the fit. <laughs> she drops the coat and they I'm go I'm not going to front, though. An original version. Version, when she got hit with that beam, you did hear her like not scream, but she had this noise like it hurt. So I, I'm pretty sure it did some damage. It wasn't enough, obviously, but no, I don't think it did. It just damaged her clothes. I think that hurt. If you listen to the original version, she has this grunt noise when she got hit, like you know, like it hurt. So I don't and know. Then he hits her ass to the ground, and to finish. I it mean, she off, did he just look right at it with no emotion, but still. Posing like he just cooked up. All bro did was mess with the fit. She drops the coat and they go back to throwing hands. And Trunks is thinking to himself, wow, my dad is really holding his own against 18. And Piccolo says out loud, now nah, he about to lose. He gonna get cooked. The second <laughs> yeah. this man says that, that was they hard. put this was hard to watch. back on Vegeta. And oh my lord, was this man getting the work. She catches this man's mm. punch and knees him in the stomach. Oh no. Nah. Yeah, Look what that punch right the there, bro. Friends. Trunks is just watching this violation. She throws his ass to a rock. Brody's in that agony. right there, that's when I... Sorry, but um, just messed up at the recording. But when he was sitting on that rock screaming like that, oh, nah. I started to really get scared. I was like, oh, prince. man. Because Punches they up. went and transitioned to Goku. Because actually, that scene right there, Goku... I mean, Krillin in his mind was saying, Goku, I need you to get better so you can come back. And they showed Goku for a minute. Then they transitioned back to Vegeta. He gets hit on that rock and was just screaming. I, I don't want to know. Actually, I do. I'm curious to see what their 18 do from that scene to there that had Vegeta screaming like that. I was like, oh, here we go. This is a Zarbon moment because Zarbon was tough to watch too, but not like this one. This one was worse because you got Vegeta and his glory with the Super Saiyan. And not only a few episodes later, he, this happens in the scariest way. She's going to walk towards him like the Terminator. She his ass to a rock. Brody's in agony and he sees yeah. 18 walking <laughs> yeah. towards him. He's See that like, walk oh, right man, there? I was like, oh man. Goes at her. We 
right behind you. Stupid. Had his ass Oof. enjoying the view of the clouds for like three seconds. Oh, <laughs> no. Nah. Then 18 comes up behind him. And I this love his commentary. Turns. And I know Akira was like, this the part that I like the most. What's the part you like the most? And then it happens. Yeah. That man, Dr. Jiro, wasn't playing when he said he was watching all the fights. She went after his weak spot. Yeah, that, that left arm. I'm, I'm so glad somebody arm. else noticed that. I thought I was the only one because nobody around me mentioned it. You always see Vegeta hold his left arm. And it's like in a lot of situations, he just holds that left arm. I'm like, yo, it's, it's funny. He called it his weak spot. That is exactly true. When you get that left arm, it's almost over. That man, Dr. Jiro, wasn't playing when he said he was watching all the fights. She went after his weak spot. Got his ass on 10%. Got him holding that left arm. Shorty just watching mm. him as he falls to his knees. Nah, you're a villain. He was trying so hard not to scream. After 18 disconnects Vegeta's left arm like an AirPod. Trunks just couldn't watch anymore, so he had to pull up. But here's the problem. When they pulled up for the first time, 17 told them that if anybody interrupts the ones, he's gonna come in and drop their ass. And Trunks broke that rule. And that shit wasn't even worth it. He really went Super Saiyan and for charged nothing. at him, whipped out his sword and everything just I for a block with my one life arm. For I was like, started please don't tell me he goes outside. And peep the way he looks at his sword. He like, oh no, nah, this shit is trash. And then 17 comes up right behind him. And he was like, I thought I told you. Yo, bitch ass not to come <laughs> with that weak ass sword. Now Trunks is just on the floor. I don't know. Was like, oh, I still nah, don't understand when it comes to trust. He has such a great opening in this saga. And then in this battle, he was like irrelevant. I ain't gonna front though. I love Trunks' moment when the androids first showed up and he was yelling that if uh, they was about to release Android 16 and he was like, if they release him, it'll be the end of us. And he powered up and did the beam like that. That whole scene with the music, that was intense. That was intense, but it did nothing. But yeah, it was like, and then the way he gets, he gets knocked out here, you'll see in a second. I was like, wait a minute. All that excitement about Trunks and this is what we get? Uh, you know, I don't know. I, I love Trump, especially when he got out the hyperbolic time chamber. In my opinion, he should have ignored his feelings against when it came to fighting Cell at his uh, semi form and should just finished him off because he was trying to not uh, upset Vegeta. Forget all that. He could have finished Cell right there and would have won or finished 18 because you remember he looked right at 18. So that was Trunks' moment. But of course, plot armor, 18 didn't leave for some reason. And then Trunks didn't finish sell off. That was a great Trunks moment, though. And of course, his best moment when when he, when he went back home and finished off the androids and sell. Love that. One so I don't hate Trunks. I'm just saying Gina, my life. I had I had him there, up here. And damn well they know about to beat seventeen. But they always try. I love always putting in that He's one of my favorites. I was so glad he brought him back in. But Tien gets his ass put in a headlock, and Fujita's a real one. His arm is broken, and he still was about to slide for him. But 18 grabs his leg and throws him into Trunks. This right here. How the now, heck he gets knocked out? got me annoyed because why Trunks only take two hits and he's already done? This is why I used to be on Lawyer when it came to who was my favorite character. Because okay, how can this you. man get two shotted like that and two he's already gone? This man is a whole Super Saiyan. And he gets dropped like that. I had to unclaim him. Anyways, the yeah. camera pans and out. Yeah, and you see Vegeta deal with all that pain. Move. He still ain't knocked out, but Trunks lock, get two hits and but knocked out. turns to his left and he sees that 16 is just standing there. And bro, 16's personality is just being over six feet tall. Why is bro just standing there like a light That's bulb? what made him a little scary, though, like, in my opinion, because you did not know what so he was Piccolo capable of. Gets up, and he's like, oh, nah, Vegeta and Trunks are out. And looks up and sees Tien in a chokehold. And again, with no hesitation, he slides for Tien. But that man 17 made Piccolo look like he was made out of rubber. Mm. But that man is not Luffy. So that shit takes him out. And then that we see everybody too. on the floor. But that man Vegeta thought he was a part of Sneak Nation. Tried to get a free hit, but shit wasn't sweet. 18 dodges it and is like, don't try that <laughs> shit again. <laughs> and she starts to violate. She knees him in the head, steps on his back, and then she lets him get up just to kick him. Now, Dr. Jiro was in his bag when he made these androids. They should have never let him cook. Uh, but yeah, yeah she steps that, on his that was arm a good, yeah. the other one. And yeah, it was just wraps. If one arm is 10%, then the other arm, that man is just done. But yeah, I could talk about Dragon Ball stuff all day. And I love channels like this because I can give my two cents. But yeah, those that, that Android saga, that was scary, bro. I don't think I was scared of villains like I was with them. Not Boo. Frieza was a, still, to me, the best villain in Dragon Ball, but he wasn't scary. Uh, these people, just the way they stared at you and you didn't know what they was fully capable of, 
they would just look at you and the way they just killed Dr. Jero, it was like, okay, what is going on here? It's like, okay, Vegeta, like you I had some confidence because Vegeta just turned Super Saiyan, so I thought he had it under control. Or it's gonna be like one of them long, tough battles. But then to see Vegeta not even be close to strong as them, I didn't know. I was like, man, thank God Goku had that that uh sickness. Because imagine Goku then before he got the sickness fight them. They would have just killed him. And it's nothing anybody would have done, even though plot armor would have saved them somehow. But up to about realistically, nothing would have happened. I mean, Goku would have been dead. So, shout out to that virus. But, uh, yeah. Anyway, let me know what you think below. I'm going to react to more of these videos. I don't want to make them too long. But thank y'all so much for tuning in. Shout out to Code Nace. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let me make sure I give a like. And, yeah. Thank y'all so much. I'm going to check more videos see what else he got. But I'll check y'all later. See ya.